We got Geeks and Gamers, as well as Heel vs. Babyface, reporting on the fact that their videos criticizing the Peter Pan trailer has been blocked in all countries. And some individuals are blaming this on YouTube. But I would like to point out that in this situation, it is not YouTube's fault. The way it works is that the company, in which case we're talking about Disney right now, haha, is telling YouTube that they do not want their video to be displayed on the platform by other creators. Which means that YouTube is legally binded to comply with this. So in other words, this is Disney. And the reason that it's interesting is that they know how bad and how atrocious their trailer is. And they know the reaction that they're going to get from the community. And they are preemptively getting people to not be able to talk about their trailer. I mean, take into account that the trailer was released a couple of hours ago. So they already knew that people are not going to respond positively to it. Like, let that sink in. This company is making products that they know people will not like. Isn't that astonishing? I mean, if I make a video game and I have a trailer, I want people to share it around. I want people to discuss and engage in it. I do not want to block people from having access to the trailer. Now, you may make the argument that it's not free use, even though we disagree, but let's say it isn't free use. Let's say someone like just takes the trailer and shows it on their channel. Legally, the company would be able to block that. But why would you? The whole purpose of a trailer is for people to be able to see it so that it promotes your product. It's literally an ad. It's like a company being upset that you're taking their Coca-Cola advertisements and you're putting it on your house. Like... People would pay money in order for you to do that. But we don't get to see that here. In fact, this is why YouTube removed the dislike button. is to protect these corporations. Uh, this is why I disagree with the statement that all publicity is good publicity. When it's clearly not. Like, these companies do not like it when you criticize their product. Which is why we need to do more of it. If a product is bad, it's legitimately bad. Call it out. And in this case, the product is legitimately bad. So, it's very interesting. I, I don't believe that I have seen this done before. I'm pretty sure there may have been a couple of examples, but a company to outright ban a trailer, like from any type of footage. I mean, look look here, right? So, how, how many minutes uh, did Heels versus Babyface used? It's less than a minute, right? So, less than a minute footage of the Peter Pan and Wendy trailer, and it's already blocked. So he didn't even use the entire trailer. He didn't even show the whole thing. He just showed a couple of clips, gave his opinion on it. Completely fair use, by the way. I mean, if this isn't fair use, the entire review industry would just die off. And we're not talking about the YouTubers. We're talking about IGN, Kotaku, Polygon. Like, all, all of them would die off if companies were to have the power to immediately take down any type of content that shows clips from their product for a review purpose. I do not know if uh, Heel vs. Babyface can fight this. Um, it's not a copyright strike. So on a copyright strike, you can actually challenge it in courts. In the case of Disney deciding that any second of footage from their trailer should be blocked, I don't know if you can actually fight this. Like You'd probably have to contact a lawyer. I think you might have to talk with YouTube about it. Um, I've no idea, but from what I understand, I, I can talk about the trailer without showing you. The criticism was that the focus is on Wendy. I mean, as we probably expect, you know, it's an American movie done for the modern audience. So even though it's called Peter Pan, it's now Peter Pan and Wendy, and the entire focus is on the experience of Wendy. Again, what bothers me the most is why don't they just make a new IP? That has nothing to do with Peter Pan. Why can't we create something? I swear to God, the last decade when it comes to American entertainment is just dead. Like nothing has been created. Everything is a sequel. Literally everything. Like name me five original IPs which came out in the last 10 years on the big screen. 
So I'm not talking about TV shows, although even those have a problem. But like, think about the big screen, try to come up with some original stuff that came out, talk about the new IP which uh, created new toys. When did Game of Thrones came out? Like, that's uh, probably the last one that's major enough to create toys and memes. And that's how I justify if an IP is successful or not, if there's memes of it, right? Now, think about Disney's live adaptation and, and go back since it started. How many memes of live adaptations do you know? If there are no memes, that means the product is shit. Because to have random people get invested and create funny stuff using your footage, you actually need to be creative. And you actually need to have an entertaining product. But we don't get to see that at all. Which means that they're not good. So yeah, um, very interesting. Okay, so first of all, the dislike button is being removed, right? And, and this also happens, uh, I might be a little bit conspiratorial, but the dislike button is being removed exactly when Disney is being heavily criticized. And their trailers are getting massive downvotes. And YouTube goes like, oh, well, it's to protect the uh, sanity of the creator. Yeah, I think it's to protect the sanity of the mouse. Haha. <laughs> So the dislike button is removed. And now they're doing this on trailers. They're not allowing other content creators to use footage of their trailers. I'm pretty sure, though, that if you're like IGN and you talk with Disney and you're like, oh, well, you know, we're official journalists and we're going to give you favorable coverage, they may allow it. Like, I, I will be very interested to see which YouTube channel is able to use footage from this trailer? Because if they do, it means that they have a line to Disney. It means that they have spoken with the uh, marketing team that's behind Peter Pan and Wendy, and they got the green light. And you can guarantee that those are shills. And you just look at their reviews. And I'm willing to bet it's going to be positive coverage. Non-stop, just praise, positive coverage, hype, pog faces, soy faces. Just nothing original, no actual criticism. And by the way, you, you should not be able to talk about Peter Pan and Wendy without bringing up that it's yet another remake, that it's yet another something that Disney is doing that's completely unoriginal, uncreative. And they're also doing the fan baiting stuff, which is to race swap characters in order to say that all the criticism that they're getting is because of racismus completely ignoring the legit criticism that is going to be attached to the movie. Like, that's literally what it is. And you should not be able to talk about Peter Pan and Wendy without at least mentioning that. But I'm pretty sure that the people who are going to be talking about Peter Pan and Wendy by showing footage are definitely not going to talk about those issues. So yeah, um, you know, I, I guess like if I can't show the trailer, I can just say it, it was the worst trailer I have ever seen and you guys have to take my word for it, right? <laughs> Let me know what you think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.